getting into the media here. So what we have done, we've opened up some of these cupboards because the hot water system has gone under the seat. So that's freed up this one that used to be a blank cupboard. How do we turn our water tanks on and off? And how do we use the Kimberly VisiFlow? Well, the first one here is let's check we've got some water. So we've got our little touch screen here. Our Cymarine is gonna put us into our water tanks. Now I've filled it up full of liquid. I turn on my water pump here. So we're on our DC, we're on our output side of DC. This just means all my switches here. So I can now turn that bench light off so you can see a little bit better. Water tanks. I can turn my work lights on, so my outside lights, through the screen or the app. I also in here have my water pumps. We're going to turn that guy on. My water pumps are now on and off. Highlights, Canopy lights, water pumps. I've just turned everything. Oh, mm -hmm. this is going to happen a little bit when I get excited and go camping. I've actually turned the entire DC switch off. So we can see here, if you have a look, that I've turned the DC switch off instead of the water pump below. So that's now all my 12 volt back on. It is like a master switch, but it is actually going to turn off my fridge and everything. So for storage, I can turn the DC off. It's time to turn the AC on. Let's look here at the basics of the screen. So on our basics of the screen, what we have here is we've let the power run down, we've used the air con, and we're gonna charge it back up. This is my system here. It's showing me I'm at 60%, and I've got over a day of fridge lights, hot water left here on this unit. We then start the car, and we are putting almost a thousand watts back in per hour, 5,000 watt battery. So I'm gonna go from 60% right up to full within 90 minutes or two hours, especially if the sun is hitting my 400 watts of solar on the roof. So I really like how uh, bumped up that charger alternator. It's way better than a trailer that's behind us. We're getting a great charge out of our DC-DC charger. We touch the system and we go in here. Real basic, we've got two switches on. Blue means my lights, my fans, my fridge are all on. The next one is AC. This is my 240 power points. My microwave, maybe will play me a little song. My air conditioner. I can see that my induction cooktop, those are all on right now. This switch for my AC is my 240 power points. And what I'm gonna do with the 240 power points is when I'm done using them, finished cooking, finished microwave or air con, I will turn that off. Save power, 22 watts just on standby. So make sure you turn the inverter or the AC switch off when you're finished. DC was on. So on my DC, it turns everything on there. And what I had was a bit of water on my water pumps running. Now, what I wanted to show you, we have been doing a bit of a mod outside, but when I turn my water pumps on, what happens there is to suck from the front tank. I have now a solenoid, bang, I can turn on the front tank to suck from my rear tank, 85 liters, bang, I can turn on my rear tank. I now wanna work from a caravan park or I'm going to draw water from a creek or billabong. That's the third switch there, and that's for my busy flow. So I can read tank one, 85, tank two, 85, outside water from my busy flow. That is my water pump switch that has to be on. If I'm not getting any water at the taps, it's because I don't have one of those switches on to draw water. So that's something new that we've learned and Kimberly's introduced, instead of having the, S, the shut off valves in this unit. Again, across here, I've got my work lights outside. I've got my fans. Um, I can actually see if the hot water is working by when I turn my hot water on, one of these circuits, water heater, is gonna show me how much power it's using to get the glow plug or get the diesel running. So these back circuits back here, don't have any switches, but it's gonna show you, show me the individual things that are happening here. People always do like to see what's happening in the fridge. So I'm gonna open up this fridge here and I'll be able to see on this fridge circuit, shower, fans, galley, 
air heater, multimedia, fridge. So I can turn my fridge on and off right now. On standby, it wasn't using very much power. I can see it's just drawing six watts. When that compressor kicks in, I'll be able to see how much my fridge is using all in through there. So that's a really great one. Remember, travel lock on my fridge closed up and see what's happening. We're gonna turn on our diesel hot water. And while we're here, let's just see and use this. So the top one is power. There's a quick start by part pressing the button here at the top. Now this is drawing from my 93 liter diesel fuel tank. So we're drawing straight out of the vehicle's fuel tank and I've got a green light, meaning I'm using diesel, I'm using power. I can really see that the glow plug is such a big draw of power, it always makes my lights flicker just on start, start up. So I've got my hot water and it's jumped up to 115. 115 watts to get that glow plug going, and that'll drop down once, once it fires up. We can see on here it says infinity. My little sideways eight is infinity. If that green light is on, I'm just gonna keep running until I run out of battery or run out of fuel. What I wanna do today, I'm gonna turn that down. I'm just washing a few dishes up. I'm gonna turn it down to 10 minutes, lock that in. On that 10 minutes, I can now um, get hot water within three to five minutes, but then after that, I know it's gonna turn itself off in 10 minutes. If you ever see the light go white, or you see that there's no green light there, well, we're not using diesel, we're not having any of our power demand, um, and it is turned off. So make sure it's looking green before we go and have a shower. The next one here is that we don't have a space heater inside, but we've got the two kilowatt, the big, um, diesel air heater. So again, my diesel air heater controls are here. This is our one there. I am a big fan of just pushing buttons until it works. So I'm a big fan. I'm just gonna push start on there, lock it in for heating, push it again for temperature, lock it in again to say 21 degrees. This guy's not gonna fire up. I bet it's 25 degrees outside. So let's crank that right up to 30 degrees Celsius. We've now hit start on there. It gives me a timer again, so I can let this run as an air heater for a couple of hours or all night long. That's showing me the temperature, the time, and now we can see that that red light is on. This red light, like the green, we're using diesel. So with that diesel on, that's gonna take three to five minutes to warm up. It's blowing from the front cabin, so it's under the passenger seat, and will blow right up here through the whole van. 30 degrees, I might need to turn the air conditioner on soon. That is our diesel heater, and this is a control for media, and a really quick look at what's new in the cruise wagon here with SEQ Campers and the team. Thank you for watching.